And so we have another swarm here this morning in the tree right next to our property. And here's the swarm box. It's a portable a plastic box. I've already cut off a few branches and thrown the bees in. They seem to be staying in, so I think the queen might be already in here in one of the branches that I put just put here. We're gonna take off the last large branch. I've just wet them all down with sugar water, which keeps them busy cleaning themselves off and keeps them from flying. These bees don't fly, they don't fly well at all when they're wet. I'm gonna give them a little bit more of a spray of the sugar water because they don't want anybody falling on the ground. So we take the sugar water and we have the box ready. Beautiful little cluster of girls. And put these right here. And what we're going to do is open the box. You can see, they're real happy here. It's quiet. They're pretty content. And they're waiting for scout bees to come back and finding them a new home. So they're really kind of cluster here. Their sisters are already here in the box. What we do is gently shake them off the branch. And they should all just go box like that doesn't hurt them doesn't really annoy them either you hear the buzzing just because they're excited they just fell off but and all the stragglers that are flying around here will find their way because of the uh, pheromones in the box already in the box from the queen which should be in here as well so now we close the box Gently without smushing anybody. Come on, girls, inside. So, we're going to turn the box around gently. And you'll see around the front of it, their sisters are outside. Front gate. And that's a good sign that the queen is indeed in there because they were here at the front checking out what's going on and translating the pheromones into activity. You'll see they're flapping their wings really fast and putting their butts up in the air. The last bit of their butt just before the stinger is called a nastanov gland, and it's exposed when they put their butt like that down. And that's the pheromone that tells the rest of the bees out in the air that the queen is here. Thanks for tuning in, and keep following us for more tips. Beekeeping 101, and taking care of bees in our bee life, even here in wartime, here in northern Israel. Thanks for being with us. Being with us, get it? Being.